Windows just announced the new Photos app and there are a couple of changes in the app. So today in this video, I'm going to show you what are the new features and without further ado, let's get started. So talking about the first change, now you can import your photos and videos in a couple of different ways. So you can see this is the import and you can import from folder or a connected device. So going into the settings, here you can see, now you can add the location of your pictures and videos. By the way, it automatically detects your folders as well. So anyways, I'm going to add my folders over here. So here we go. And here you can see all my pictures and videos. Now you can simply scroll into the picture via moving your mouse pointer and scrolling in and out. And it's a really good one because you can scroll into a particular area. Also, you can draw onto your pictures. Also, you can add many 3D effects. For example, here you can see I added lens sparkles. And these are basically like a video effects. Uh, you can apply to your image as well as to your videos. And after you're done with that, you can export your videos. Also, you can create a video using pictures and text and you can combine some music to make a you know good video out of it. I think for a basic video editing purpose, this is perfectly great software to begin with. Doing basic stuff like trimming video, splitting, text, adding 3D motion, you know 3D effects, adding text onto your photos or videos. You can add music onto your videos. I think this is a great beginner's video editing software in my opinion, not just the photo apps. Uh, let's say in a hurry you have to edit a thing quickly you have to pan a video like uh, zooming in zooming out zooming left right and things like that you can do it quickly right over here and not just only that but you can add a couple of 3d effects also there are lots of filters to give your image a distinct and amazing look also you can record your voiceover or probably add a sound or music to your video so that's a really neat one in order to complete your video editing setup right in the photos application. Also, if you sign in with your Microsoft account, you can tag your family members, friends. I think this is the great alternative to Google photos. So all that sounds well and good, but does it really work? Let me show you. So here I'm going to start new video project. So clicking over here, and let's make a video and let's see how easy it is. So let's say I wanted to trim this video. So yeah, I can trim it simply like this. Probably add some text and let's play it back and let's see how it looks like. So this is the one. Yeah, this is looking really nice. And what else do you need? Like probably we can tweak out with the speed so we can make it slow or probably really fast. Talking about the titles and the text, well, you can design a really nice templates and with different colors, different fonts and layouts. If you are the type of the person who like organization, well then Photos is the app for you. It was quite surprising to see my photos organized by its metadata tags. Unlike the Google Photos, this photos app will automatically gather the tags from the pictures and videos itself. So one thing for sure, if I search nature into the search bar, it will automatically show me all the photos related to it. So this is a really neat feature. So maybe it's the time to ditch Google photos and shifting onto the photos itself. Talking about the next feature, well, automatic video takes it to the next level. It automatically creates videos from your selected items. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. That's all for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. Please do hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.